Hi boys and girls, our lesson for this week is about forces, forces, forces. So what are forces? Of course, objects do not move by themselves, okay? You have to apply a force to make them start moving. So a force is a push or pull a force is a push or pull you use forces to move things think about a door and a wagon a door when when you pull it towards you you used a force to pull it towards you right to open it so you pulled the door towards you. If you apply a push, a force push, you are you are closing the door, right? So which force do you, did you apply? A push force to close the door. Okay? So a wagon also this wagon like this. The girl pushes the wagon She's, what, what kind of force she is using? The push, right? So she is pushing the wagon as the boy, which for force, force he is using? A pull force, right? To pull on the wagon, okay? So forces can be big or small. It, makes, it takes more force to move heavy objects than light objects. The more force you use, the faster an object will move. Okay, so forces can change the motion of, the, of an object. They can make objects start moving or stop moving. They can make objects go faster or slow down. They can make also objects change direction think of the game tug of war if both sides pull on the rope equally nothing moves the tug of war for example this is uh, this is uh, for example this is um, a, a seal and this is a seal okay they are playing tug of war both sides of uh, a seal is pulling this side and a seal is pulling this side of a rope. This is a rope, okay? So if both, both sides pull on the rope equally, nothing will move, right? The rope only moves when a seal side pulls harder than Rasil. So this is a change in motion. Okay, let's have a look on this picture. So changes in motion. Number one, the goalie throws the ball. The ball starts to move, right? Number two, the player kicks the ball. The player kicks the ball. The ball changes its speeds and direction. Number three, the goalie catches the ball. The ball's motion stops. Here where the ball's motion stops. Okay, so let's, right, let's solve this together. Read a photo. What happened? to the ball's motion when the player kicked the ball. When the player kicked, here, what happened when the player kicked the ball? So, it causes what? It causes that the ball, the ball to move. It causes the ball to move. Let's solve together the quick check. What is a force? 
give one example. Again, so a force is a push or pull. A force is a push or pull. A force is a push or pull. Okay, um, give one example uh, like um, kicking a ball. Kicking a ball. Okay, uh, number eight. I want you to do this at home. How can motion change? Explain your answer using one example that is not in this book. Okay? That it's not in this book. Okay. What are types of forces? What are types of forces? Contact forces happen between objects that touch. A bat, a bat must touch the ball to change its direction. Some forces happen between objects that do not touch, like magnet, magnet. Magnetism and gravity are two examples. Two examples of forces that do not touch. How? Magnets can attract, attract or pull on each other. They can also repel or push away from each other. Magnets, magnets pull on things made of certain metals, iron. A magnet can pull a paper clip without touching it. Look. The magnet is not touching the paper clip, right? So the magnet can pull a paper clip without touching it, okay? What about these sky divers? So you cannot see gravity, okay? You cannot see gravity, but it is what keeps you on Earth. Gravity pulls object together. When you jump up, earth gravity pulls you down. Go try it. Come on, try it, guys. Stand up and jump. Did you stay up? Of course, no. The gravity pulls you down. Gravity is pulling like these skydivers. The gravity is pulling these skydivers where? To earth. Okay? Let's solve this together. How can you pick up a metal paper paper clips without touching them? How can you pick up metal papers clips without touching them? With a magnet. What are two things you can use to move a ball? Force, we could use force and gravity. How gravity? When you try to, uh, uh, when you try to le left the ball of your hand, what will happen to, to the ball? The gravity will pull the ball toward the ground, okay? What is friction? Friction is a force that happens when two things rub together. Friction pushes against moving object. Friction makes them slow down and stop. I will give you an example. You are in... Uh, um, let me see here. Um, here. This water slide is smooth. This water slide is smooth. It has a little 
friction. It has a little friction. So different surfaces, surfaces make different amount of friction. Sandpaper is rough surface. It makes a lot of friction. Ice is smooth surface. It makes less friction. Why? Because the ice smooth. Friction will make a ball rolled on a carpet move slower than a ball rolled on a tile. Right? Okay. So let's move on here. So friction, people use slippery things to reduce friction. Oil is put on moving parts of machines. This reduces friction between the parts. The oil keeps parts moving easily. Think about how a hand brake on a, on a bike work. Okay? The rubber brake pads press on the bike rim. Press on the bike rim of the wheel. This makes friction. The friction that happened here, it stops the bike. Okay? So friction between the rubber brake pad and the bike rim stops the, the bike. Here. Why ice is a good material? Why ice is a good material to skate on? Because ice is a smooth surface. Okay? Surface. Let's move here. Circle the answer of pants would make more friction going down a slide. Which pants would make more friction going down a slide? Rubber band or cotton pants? Rubber pants or cutter, cotton pants? I think it is rubber bands. Okay, try to think about it. If you are wearing a rubber pants and you are going down a slide, what will happen? Friction will happen, right? So the rubber pants, it makes you stop, right? From sliding. But if you are wearing cotton pants, what will happen? You will move, you will move down a slide. All right, so this is our lesson for today. Hope you understand. If you have any question, please send me on Class Dojo.